This fantasy football best ball edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet $50 at WinBet and get $200 in free bets. Bet big. Win bigger with WinBet. Download the WinBet app now or visit WYNNBet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Sleeper. You already play fantasy on Sleeper, but now you can win cold, hard cash with their over-under game. Just head to sleeper.com slash SGP on your phone to join the SGPN group, and Sleeper will automatically match your first deposit up to $100. That's sleeper.com slash SGP. And make sure to download the SGPN app, your home for all of our free picks and podcasts. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer? dog live from a secure location somewhere not to be disclosed. <laughs> yeah, very Ryan's, close, Ryan's very testing, close to the beach. Ryan's testing weapons in the New Mexico desert and you know, a lot of shows, a lot of podcasts. Oh, holiday weekend. We're not showing up. We're showing up, baby. We're doing a live best ball draft. You're welcome, America. And uh, happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone who, uh, I don't know, hanging out, drunk, grilling, whatever you're celebrating this Memorial Day weekend. Shout out to you guys. Hung out with my family. My dad was rocking his American flag uh, pant- I shorts saw that. <laughs> with American flag shirt. It was, it was very funny because he was going to wear a normal shirt. And my mom yelled at him and said, you can't wear a normal shirt with that. So he went and ma- went with his matching uh, shirt uh, to, to, to complete the American flag outfit, Ryan. No, cheers to Tom and all the great veterans who have served this country. Yeah, shout out to everyone who served. Appreciate your service. We're going to honor it by uh, drafting a bunch of uh, teams in this best ball fantasy football. Ryan. Oh man. Fire it up. NFL on Fox. So many NFL futures to get down on. I'm going to start hitting some player props. You can get down on all the action over a win bet. Make sure to get down on their uh, bet $50 to get $200 in free bets and the win bet casino, hundred percent deposit bonus up to $1,000. And you know, the NBA, the national basketball association, you can bet on that NBA finals coming up. We'll be doing an NBA finals podcast sometime tomorrow. Celtics warriors get down on all the action over at winbet.com or just get that uh winbet app offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state where playthrough winbet is available. You are someone, you know, as a gambling problem call. 1-800-522-4700. I'm so jacked for football. I was talking to all my, uh, all my family, relatives, Ryan, saw a lot of them on the East Coast. There's a lot of talk. We could be going all the way. This could be the Eagles year. Look out. <laughs> all right. Uh, before we get to any NFL-related stuff, first off, fuck the Celtics. Jimmy mm. Butler, God damn it! Why'd you take that three? Take it to the hole. He did get his Dog. status uh, back because he he finished strong game six and game seven, and I won so much on the game six money line. Was at a wedding where there was not a lot of reception, but I was kept refreshing game cast, and uh, Jimmy Butler came through with a massive uh, plus three thirty money line there. So I can't hate the Heat that much, but God damn the Celtics team. Uh, we'll save that. We'll we'll crank out an NBA Finals pod next uh, day or so. Get you hooked up there. But again, if you're watching live on YouTube, perfect reason to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn those notifications on. We don't have a set schedule, but when we're live, it pops up right in your uh, inbox. Says, "Hey, SGPN's live. We're going to be doing a Best Ball Mania draft. UnderdogFantasy.com. Promo code SGPN." I think it's a uh, 100% deposit match. Kramer, you you ready to do some drafting here? Uh, I'm very ready to do some drafting. I was just I was telling you before we got going. I'm in one of these uh like 
Southern California beach communities that was built many, many years ago and they don't insulate shit. And <laughs> I was just noticing how I was hearing in some neighbors kind of have a low key conversation. So they're about to hear all about 18 rounds of best ball action because there's no way my voice isn't getting through the walls. No. And I right. think they might be upset, but they're not when they hear about all these awesome lineups <laughs> we're going to be building. And uh, shout out to Andrew Rob. Uh, he is a uh, underdog king, best ball king. And uh, also new writer over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com. So I do have his article, low cost and easy to obtain best ball stacks with upside to use against him in this draft. So uh, <laughs> see, you, you made a mistake, Andrew, by officially working for the company. Now, now your secret's out. All uh, right. So I bunch of good stuff on the, on the site. Check that out. I'm going to, I'm going to poke my head in. We're going to check this out. Uh, let's see, Sean, is it safe to enter? Oh, we only need three more people, Sean. So you're going to have to act quickly or I'm going to need to get the fuck out of here. Two people. I'm hopping in. I'm in. Okay. Two more listeners. Hop in for the live draft. Oh, man. I. To me, you know, Cooper Cup, the more I think about it, the more I'm scared of drafting Cooper Cup. Are Not we live? Be- oh, God, I'm the first pick. Jonathan I'm the first Taylor. pick, Sean. Don't, you don't have to think about it. All right. Does the Is the board on the screen? Did I, did I achieve yes. success? You did. All right. I think to be safe, I might be drafting from the old phone today. Oh fuck! I'm I'm twelfth. I hate. I li- I kind of like that. How much time do I have? I don't mind it as far as running the uh, the podcast because then it it makes it easier so I can do the reads and do everything else because I have long breaks where I'm not drafting. But strategy wise, I just hate the. I always feel like I'm reaching on that second guy because it's going to be so long until I get my next guy. And and I don't even have a. There's no decision point here, right? It's Jonathan Taylor. Yep. And apologies, Cody Z. Um, yeah, I know he saw he tried to hop in. It's there's no easy way to do the uh, the drafting. No, it was personal, Cody. <laughs> Shout out to Cody in the NASCAR pod, giving away some uh, sweet jacket. Check that out. Check them out. They uh, they they. The, yeah, and they went hard. They uh, covered the Indy 500. They covered Monaco, which was a fabulous Grand Prix. Shout out to to Checo, our friend south of the border, Sean. I was on my flight coming back, and I, I there was no one else in our in our row, so the middle seat was empty. So I had a two screen experience of USFL <laughs> and F1 action. It was a true hashtag Dejans only. So we like, haven't even yeah haven't even mentioned the USFL. I mean, Jersey and Philly are so far out out ahead. You might as well lock up that playoff game Blob, now. Blob so. is on a heater as much as it pains me to say this. All right, so Kramer goes chalky, picking Jonathan Taylor. Auto draft guy takes Christian McCaffrey, then Cooper Cup. D Ross 1507 takes Justin Jefferson. Oh, and I don't think uh A Rob didn't make it in either. Apologies. Oh wow. We we entered a real uh well, you know what it was? We jumped in at, at one that was almost filled. So it's better for us, though, Sean, because now we don't have dudes who are just going to jam up our style, take our dudes. Yep. And they can help us now. Now that you're not drafting against us, maybe jump in the next one and draft with us. Complimentary draft experience. Also, Julian tell Jass, us. I like it. Also, tell us who to uh, take. So Cooper Cup, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase go off the board. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, Sean, would you? Is that the order you would take them? Oh man, I, I, uh, I don't know. I, Cooper Cup is giving me weird vibes, like Christian McCaffrey last year. I, I think something bad could happen to that guy. He's almost like the Derrick Henry of of uh, white receivers. There, I'm just worried his workload and his. <laughs> What he did last year was insane. I mean, it's hard to bet against it at this point. Uh, Austin Eckler, who I really like, I honestly, he would probably, and I haven't put out my official rankings yet, but he might be my second running back. I think Naj- it's Najee Naj- Harris. Harris goes and, and he's certainly right there too. Yeah. I would put uh, Najee Harris and Austin Eckler kind of in that one, a one or a two B two a category. All right. I mean, honestly, Wow, we're seeing Dalvin Cook go in the first round. Last draft, I believe, Sean, we saw him go into the second round. Um, Travis Kelsey goes. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Aaron Rodgers goes. Who's in this draft? Oh, shit, I'm on the clock. 
This is great. We got a real uh, live draft here. Travis Kelsey and Aaron Rodgers, both first rounders. Wow. Oh, what a steal. Devontae Adams. Yes, please. And then what do I do? You know what? A little bit of a reach, but give me Aaron Jones. I think there's a really good case for him to pick up a ton of uh, PPR points left on the table by one Mr. Devontae Adams. I know it's I, I like PPR. that. No, I like that action. I, li I like the strategy there. Now the guys are really going to be pissed that they're not in this draft because we got a couple of a couple of squares going. All right, All what, right. what do we get? We got a long way. This is an interesting one because both both ways we wait for a long time. We are just sitting on the clock, and hey, we got a uh, we're going to be doing an NBA Finals contest, giving away five hundred bucks. We'll officially announce that when we do our NBA Finals episode, but stay tuned to that. Ryan Tannehill goes. This guy is, I mean, he's a maniac. What are his, we watching? His first two <laughs> picks were Aaron Rodgers and Ryan Tannehill. Sean, this happened uh, in the wee hours of, of draft day, if I'm not mistaken. Just had someone completely off his rocker. <laughs> It'd be one thing if, okay, you draft Aaron Rodgers in the first round, you're like a Packers fan, but then you draft Ryan Tannehill in the second. This guy's insane. Uh, it's going to drop guys to us, right? Derrick Henry going in the second round. How do you feel about that? Yeah. I mean, if I'm right. is pick 15, yeah, I'm taking Derrick Henry, Joe Mixon. I, and maybe I got cute by taking Aaron Jones uh, ahead of them. I, I just like the upside of the potential of Aaron Jones and his receiving work. CeeDee Lamb goes, which – I don't know. No Amari Cooper. I know we hate the Cowboys, Ryan, but what, what do you think uh, CD Lamb's workload is going to look like? He's he's got to get a ton of looks. I mean, I, I've I'm really buying into the stuff where he's just not as productive on the outside, and and we'll see if if he's going to be able to to kind of bring to the offense what Amari Cooper brought to the offense. So as exciting as he is, and I know he's a a, a Raz score guy uh, draft season, so people love those guys. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, he's a cowboy, obviously, so it's easier to be low than it is high. Mike Evans goes. DeAndre Swift goes. What am I looking to do here, Sean? What am I looking to do here? I mean, I have a dream scenario. I, I think I know what the dream scenario is. You're like three or four picks away. You have back-to-back -back picks because you're first. I'm 12th. This is a very weird draft. Mark Andrews goes. So... Top available right now, Debo, Alvin, Kamara, uh, Tyreek Hill. <laughs> I, d I know I did pronounce it like it was almost two different guys. Uh, Letter for net, and then Debo goes. Are you worried about Debo playing, Ryan? Holding out, maybe getting traded to a No, D Debo's playing, right? I I'm not but worried. But is he going to run the ball? Like I feel like that could be part of the drama is that, hey, I don't want to run the ball, and all of a sudden if he's not running the ball, is he, uh, you know, is he as good fantasy-wise? Well, he just went, so I don't have to, to cross that bridge. But, I mean, it's certainly worth thinking about. He's not going to be as valuable if he's not running the ball, obviously, because that's a lot of touches. But I, I have a feeling he's still going to be I, – I think he's probably coming off the maybe his peak of his career, but I still think you like him uh, towards the end of the second round, early third round, because what he can do, especially in best ball. Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley goes right in front of you, Kramer. I'm so sorry. I, I'm very disappointed in that, but like, as mu as silly as this sounds, like, yeah, I'll uh, I'm happy to take Tyreek Hill uh, right here, and I'm gonna pair him with a guy that I know you're uh... Tua. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not going that far. I'm gonna uh, pair him with another guy who I uh, I absolutely love. I'll leave AJ Brown oh, for someone else. You. Give me T Higgins. Um, Tyreek yeah, Hill, T Higgins, Josh Allen, go. Two top pass catchers right there. I, I had to. Absolutely had. Would have taken Saquon Barkley. <laughs> Tough to beat that. Hey, Sleeper. Uh, you know you love Sleeper uh, Fantasy. Now they got their over-under game, a.k.a. player props. You can win as much as 2X all the way up to 20X. And they got uh, MLB. Major League Baseball is there. So much uh, action. So not only NBA Finals you can get down on, but MLB player props, which just grinding that out day after day. It is, uh, it is fun again, two X all the way up to 20 X. And if you join our squad, you can copy our picks. You can get us to copy your picks, tag us in the sleeper chat. 
and a 100% deposit match up to $100. Sleeper.com slash SGP. Promo code SGP. Join the squad. Get the 100% deposit match. Get involved. Uh, baseball heating up. Sleeper.com slash SGP. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for details. I was thinking about it, Sean. I don't think I've drafted Tyreek Hill yet this season. That might be my first share. So, yeah, that is in, he's interesting. Kamara goes, Javante Williams, Leonard Fournette, Keenan Allen. Ryan, I keep telling myself I'm going to try and do a draft where I don't take Jalen Hurts. It's going to be tough, though. Oh, and uh, some guy, some uh, D-bag on auto draft took AJ <laughs> Brown. So that makes so it easier. So sorry, Sean. Makes it a little easier. Uh, I do have a couple shares. I feel like already of Patrick Mahomes. That's super fun. I mean, with with Ryan Tannehill and Aaron Rodgers off the board, the value in <laughs> Fang, getting a quarter. <laughs> Fang banger in the YouTube chat saying, "I'm just here to see who eleven picks next." Yes, this is <laughs> this is riveting streaming uh, because this guy has been a maniac. Flapjack nine sixteen. I can't imagine he's one of our listeners. Here we go. Or if he is, he's most certainly drunk. Jalen Waddle goes. James Connor. Well, uh, quietly, the the nine pick has gone running back, running back, running back. So as, you know, it's not as controversial as Aaron Rodgers and Ryan Tannehill on the first and the second. Still, but still, not not traditional. Uh, <laughs> uh, looking to establish the run there. Oh, what do we have here? David Montgomery. <laughs> Oh my God! This is, this is planned. This is not an auto draft. This is an absolute planned assassination of this draft room. Wow! It's all, I'm almost mad, but I, I'm drafting right after him. <laughs> yeah, how can you be mad? <laughs> all right. So what do I do here, Kramer? I'm gonna go. Do I take Kyle Pitts? I think you go B, BPA, as you like to say, Sean. I I'm think going Kyle Pitts. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. have any shares of him. He's obviously could easily be the number one receiver there. Stacks nicely later with uh, our guy Mariota. Ho, ho, ho. All right, I'm I'm unfortunately gonna have to do this. Give me Kyle Pitts, Darren Waller back to back, setting up for a Derek Carr stack with Le- Devontae oh, no. Adams. And I was gonna say, and I could probably get Aaron Rodgers later, but this guy drafted him in the first round. <laughs> Flapjack, uh, aka who's the, he gonna? The drunk drafter. I think he's gonna take someone. Um, say Allen Robinson. He's running out of time. An auto draft could screw up his strategy and take someone. Good. Miles Sanders. Wow. Okay. Savage. <laughs> oh man. This is one of the more entertaining drafts. Oh, this is so good. Oh, and then shout out to go Bearcats. He uh, just popped into uh, underdog and found some money left under the pillow. So Hell you never yeah. know when you might accidentally win. And shout out to Andrew Robb saying stacking the Packers late is a great way to pivot off the top guys. I agree. I feel like I have a couple uh, Packers stacks and I get Aaron Rodgers super late again, not going to happen in this draft. Uh, mm-hmm. Cause this guy's uh, <laughs> lost his mind. Brees Hall goes, Mike Williams goes, Patrick Mahomes goes. So now we're seeing some, uh, you know, quarterbacks, not on flapjacks team or Josh Allen. I know Ryan, I feel like you haven't taken a quarterback early this entire draft process. No. And I probably won't. You know how I roll. Zeke goes. Oh God, Zeke. What round are we in? Four. Fourth round? Who's taking Zeke? What are you doing? I still remember at the fantasy football conference where (laughs) we're talking to some random fantasy football guy and you dead serious like alpha him and go. I'll tell you what, I don't have Zeke in my top 20. The guy, like, <laughs> you're ready to, ju- I mean, his mind, no! he was, you know, his pocket protector jumped out of, off his shirt. It was hilarious. He uh, was like, uh, he was like proudly presenting his like uh, <laughs> most accurate ranker type yes. deal. Had no, had no respect for our Zeke outside the top 25 running backs. They're like, um, what are you, uh, I, and we're just like, have you considered Zeke sucks? <laughs> the guys, he did not. That's not how uh, he's not. You guys aren't being serious. You're not taking it seriously. <laughs> you're not. You're joking around in fantasy football. <laughs> this is not the place. Michael Pittman, Cam Akers, Marquez, Hollywood Brown. Oh, I don't want any part of that. Wow. The only, the only part of the Arizona offense I want is like maybe Zach Ertz or uh, McBride super late. I think it's kind of interesting. Why are I mean? Why are these alpha receivers just falling to me? Because their quarterbacks suck. Uh, I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep a theme going here, which is pure alphas with crap quarterbacks. Give me uh, Terry McLaurin, 
and give me DK Metcalf. Oh, Are you kidding me? I put him in my queue, but I knew it was a Sean, lot just, just for shits and giggles, look, read off my wide receivers at this point. Okay. Ryan, Ryan is too busy to read off his own. Tyree Kill, T. Higgins, <laughs> Terry McLaurin, and DK Metcalf. Wow. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess DK Metcalf is your fourth guy there, but mm. um, even that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, I get it. They have the quarterbacks are variables, but every each one of those guys is like falling, with the exception of T. Higgins, is falling down like a, a round or two from previous. Gabe Davis, George Kittle go. I don't think I need to draft another tight end, not with Kyle Pitts and Darren Waller. <laughs> I mean, come on. Although I, we got we had fucking burned in the Eat League with uh, Kyle. Fucking Darren, Darren Waller. Waller. All right. More importantly, what's uh, Team Eleven gonna do? Yeah, that's why everyone's tuned in. I mean, already got two quarterbacks, so he shouldn't need to go in that direction. Indiana Jones is uh, chirping at Andrew, saying it's Andrew's Smurf account. You guys hired a bum. That would be next level if uh, he's he's got some <laughs> burner account that he's. I know I know Andrew and his integrity for the draft. He would never, never throw it away. Andrew's loving my team so far. Jerry Judy, Deontay Johnson. My team's pretty random right now, but I I'm happy with it. I thought about taking Deontay Johnson over DK Metcalf, but I just pure alpha dog play there. And I see some more alpha dogs coming up. We'll see if I can if they'll last eighteen picks to get back to me. But Deontay Johnson goes, Amari Cooper. Oh man, I don't want any part of that Cleveland offense. Do you? I mean, there's a real, you know, what if all of a sudden fucking um, Sean Watson's out twelve games? Like, it, it, I, I think Amari Cooper might be pretty good. Um, he's always banged up. Never comes up big in big games. It's true. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm not looking to buy high on any of those guys, honestly. Probably, lo- what do they say? Probably lower than market on uh, on all of them, Sean. <laughs> Is Drake London going to be legit, Ryan? I, I'm. I mean, if you have Pitts, I, I like the idea of grabbing London too because again that that stack with Mariota is is cheap and it's gonna work it's gonna pay off like we're getting paid on a Mariota stacks this year all this stuff coming out about Traylon Burks is horrible like for people who thought he was just gonna plug in and and be the next AJ Brown again this is not me uh touting that the Eagles have AJ Brown the reports on Traylon Burks are like the dude's legit out of shape like they don't know if they can get him ready for the like you can't stay on OTAs. That's crazy. It's not a good look. Lamar Jackson, a third quarterback. Oh my god. Team eleven breaking the draft. Sean, I, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, it's probably <laughs> early, but I do like the idea of pairing Drake London and yes, and Kyle Pitts. Andrew pointing out my suboptimal strategy of two tight ends. I, you know, I get it. Ooh, woo, woo, woo. I wanna. I wanna have. I don't know. Like I like having a variety of types of teams in these things. Yeah, I went Drake London and Devonta Smith, so I need some running backs. Need some quarterbacks. The, the great thing is I don't have to worry about drafting a tight end. Kyler Murray still on the board. Trail on Burks goes. Oh, he's still going to figure out his contract. Wait, was the guy not listening to you talk about Traylon Burks? Like the TM- <laughs> TMZ had no, a headline: It's, it's Titans right? draft pick. Titans draft pick, uh, like can't make it through practice or right? like, it's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Four receivers, one running back so far. It looks like you have two running backs. No, oh, I'm sorry. One running, one running back. back, two tight ends, three receivers. Yeah. It's so again, a little <sighs> contrarian, contrarian build, Ryan. Look out. Rashad what am Bateman. I doing here? Shad Bateman goes, what do you mean? Are what am I doing here uh, at the end of this round? I don't know. I, I would consider quarterback here. Maybe although the, the one guy just no. really destroyed the QB market. I see no, no value in quarterback. No, probably not at it, this point. As crazy as it sounds, I might have to dip back into the, uh, might have to dip back into the receiver market. There's still some receivers out there. I love. This is insane. You know, I I've kind of missed the boat here on some of these running backs because, like, look at the look at the best running backs available. Yeah, Josh that's trash. Jacobs, Antonio Gibson. Oh, this fucking son of a bitch took uh, Jalen Hurts. I oh. think it was the same guy who took AJ Brown. Oh, Darnell Mooney. Mooney's a good pick at this point. 
But listen to these, uh, Josh Jacobs, Antonio Gibson, who's good, but like injuries, the fact that he paid McKissick, that worries me. Elijah Mitchell, AJ Dillon. Maybe I just grab AJ Dillon and just own the green Bay backfield. Although that doesn't feel like a great strategy. I, I like Dylan. I, I think it, it's you Would know. Would you like Dylan if you already have Aaron Jones? That's a that's a one that's one of the few situations I don't know if I mind. I don't mind doing that there. Because I feel like they both get looks, you know. I I think that I just think Aaron Jones could be so much in the passing game, and Dylan could have his best season yet. It's going to come down to if Dylan but can score d- double digit if, touchdowns. If Aaron Jones is the leading receiver in Green Bay, are you shocked? No, I mean, no, it's absolutely surprising, not. Surprising, but not like crazy. I'm a big fan of him. I mean, I'm I'm coming up, and I I you know, there's a real chance I could take Dylan here. So the the chance of him getting back to you, maybe not there, but it, we're at that tier. Like you look at the running backs that are out there. <laughs> shout, and, shout, out, shout out to the Wolf of Oakland oh. pointing out that uh, Carson Wentz still available, and the sandbag and sons of bitches took uh, AJ Dylan. Dalton Schultz, Joe Burrow off the board, Michael Thomas. It sounds like Michael Thomas is going to play. Like I, I'm still a little hesitant to draft him uh, because of just all the shit that went down. But by all accounts, he's playing and they're good to go. I, I don't know. What's your take on Michael Thomas, Ryan? Yeah, w- whatever. I, I'm not going to be taking him. Uh, all right. So I, my first pick, I, t- I took Elijah Ooh. Mitchell, and you know what? Let's be different. It's late enough. He's on a contract year. Let's go. Josh Give me Josh Jacobs. Jacobs. What's that rookie that we uh, gave out for rookie of the year? I keep forgetting that kid's name. Ziev or something. Zamir White. Zamir White. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're we're in the sixth round or what seventh round. So there, that's the angle. I. It was close between him, uh, and a couple other running backs, and you know, again, more pass catchers, but. I think I'm going to have to go running back or maybe do I go Cordero Patterson and just own the Atlanta offense? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what when will he fall off the cliff? Yeah. The athlete formerly known as Cordell Pat. It's crazy. He had to fail on like four different NFL teams before someone figured out he could play danger. Rusco's Adam Thielen's gone. DeAndre <clears throat> Hopkins. I don't know. Hopkins being out for six games kind of, kind of kills it for me. Right. I mean, it's, you know, you, you know, they, you get the points when they do play and he, he claims to not be guilty, Sean. He said he wasn't guilty the month before or the month after, but just that month. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, he's also getting old. And I think for me, the more concerning thing is Kyler, like Kyler's playing baseball in two years. Yeah. Kyler's not a guaranteed a- money. Antonio Gibson goes Elijah Moore. I'm glad Antonio Gibson's drafted. I don't have to mm. think about that. Elijah Moore was a guy I was looking at, Sean. Considered grabbing another elite pass catcher, at least a guy who could, can take a big step forward. I think I just need to go running backs. I only have one right now. Brandon Ayuk off the board. A double running back right now. Tony Pollard out there? I don't know. I made a promise to my family I would never draft a Dallas no, Cowboy. You, ju- you just saw them, too. <laughs> they got in my head. This is great. Kyler still has not been drafted. All right, Team 11, right? Coming on up. Who is he taking? Flapjack. I'll say uh, Ronald Jones. <laughs> Clyde Edwards Elaire goes. It was definitely someone I was considering. He was on the radar just for offense play. Kyler Murray goes, and now Flapjack is on the clock. <sighs> what will he do? He only has three quarterbacks, so he could go for a fourth here. <laughs> Kyler Murray just went, who Flapjack probably had his eye on. Tom Brady. He, he maybe <laughs> looking for a little HGH guy. It is funny because I'm, I'm almost 100% positive this guy's not in the YouTube stream and just a random drafter. He has no <laughs> idea. Thousands of people are just shitting on him <laughs> via a, a show he probably doesn't know exists. If he did, he would not be drafting like this. Oh. I'm on St. Brown. Okay, oh, that actually wait. is – Auto draft. He got a good player. Oh, I was going to say that actually, that doesn't, uh, I don't mind that. All right, Sean, you are on the clock. 15 seconds. Ooh. Kareem hunt. <laughs> I can't help it. You just talk shit about the Browns. 
Yeah, but Kareem Hunt's different. Guy's a beast. Uh, do I go Kenneth Walker? You know, give me Devin Singletary. I know they drafted a running back, but the dude still had seven touchdowns, and they were running an offense where it was just basically him. Uh, the other running backs kind of out of the picture, so I, I don't mind Devin Singletary here. We'll see if James Cook was brought in to replace him, but. I mean, go, go ahead, go, Sean. Go Bearcats asking if uh, any of the USFL guys get picked up uh, by the big show, a.k.a. the National Football League. I wouldn't be surprised if that Victor Bolden Jr. guy, uh, Scarborough, I think some of the, I think a couple of the running backs have a shot. Um, Cause I think those guys are the most replaceable and the, they're most willing to give a shot on. So Sean, sorry, breaking news. Trey Lance has just been drafted. Has he won the starting job yet in San Francisco? No. Okay. Jimmy Garoppolo is still competing for the job <laughs> per, per uh, sources, AKA Kyle Shanahan. TJ Hawkinson this late that that kind of feels nice I don't mind that play eighth round mm. all right so my team so far I got Aaron Jones Kareem Hunt Devin Singletary Devontae Adams Drake London Devonta Smith Kyle Pitts Darren Waller so a very random team but you know I like uh kind of mix it up I, I feel like I kept drafting the same guys Sky Moore, Chris Olave off the board. So back to back rookie receivers. Kadarius Tony available. <laughs> yes, please. All right. Uh, Deshaun Watson still available. Kirk Cousins still available. Alexander Madison. Bunch of interesting names right here. What are you looking to what are you looking to go for, Kramer? You're coming up here in a couple picks. I mean, it seemed, just it went don't have a quarterback don't have a tight end i'll probably still uh still roll roll i mean i think i just keep rolling out something different it's not time yet what do you mean it's not time it's not time to take a quarterback i think i just I, you know and i have a chance to build something a little different here oh i don't God. know ryan uh apologies so, and thank you for the youtube chat for pointing it out but Flapjack just uh, drafted another quarterback. I missed that. He drafted Tom Brady right after me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Fire. So, wait, how many quarterbacks does he have? Is he four? Trying to... <laughs> he has four quarterbacks Aaron Rodgers, Ryan Tannehill, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady, two right, running backs, I'm... David Montgomery, Miles Sanders, I'm two taking receivers, <laughs> Traylon Burks, and Amon Ross St. Brown. This guy's my hero. I'm taking a, uh, a t so two 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 part question. A, uh, I don't know if anyone's gonna have the the Seattle double stack. Yes, please. No. And uh, yeah, give me a uh, Tony Pollard. It's too late. He's the starting running back for an NFL team. Flapjack is gonna win the millie. So Cordero Patterson, Kenneth Walker, Matt Stafford all go. Dallas Goddard goes. Tony Pollard goes to Kramer and Tyler Lockett. Dawson Knox off the board. Really kind of shocked to see some of the like I'm I'm shocked to see Garrett Wilson uh falling this far beneath Drake London. I Sean, I don't know if you remember. We we were talking about some of the rookie props. We we really highlighted, or at least I did, I was wrong about Traylon Burks in ter in terms of opportunity. Didn't realize he was out of shape. That that's impressive to be out of shape for for football. Uh you, like how long were you not playing football? But Drake London I was right about and and I'm kind of shocked to see some of the other rookies really start to separate down the board. I mean Garrett Wilson's still on the board. Uh, Alave uh just recently went kind of kind of intriguing. Christian Watson's still out there, which Flapjack's going to want to grab him for the stack <laughs> with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> this guy doesn't stack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Russell Gage gone. MVS goes to KC. He's an interesting uh, play with the Mahomes stack. I don't know. It feels like it's going to be a real shit show as who ends up being the number one receiver besides Kelsey. Uh, Garrett Wilson off the board. Damian Harris goes. James Cook goes. How many running backs do I have? 
Four running backs, five receivers, Sean. That's the team so far. Yep. I got three running backs, three receivers, two tight ends. Two tight ends. Premium You're tight ends, though, right? Premium tight ends. They may as well ends. be receivers. Michael premium. Gallup goes. Flapjack just sitting right in front of me. No no idea what this guy's Who's he firing on? Who's he firing on today? <laughs> Probably another quarterback. If I had to guess, Deshaun Watson. <laughs> oh, Tua, that... maybe. I mean, he does have a nice quarterback room right now. Christian Kirk goes. Oh, man. What are we? Top receivers right now, Alan Lazard, Christian Watson, Robert Woods, Kadarius Toney, Chase Claypool. Hmm, Chase Claypool. Uh... So he took Rob Gronkowski in the ninth round. <laughs> uh, never, this guy's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely in the live stream. He's taking okay. ground. Chase Claypool. Very, I very took. nice, Sean. Nice like job. Um, what am I going to do? I'm trying to find some of these. Uh, am I getting a little too cute by taking this guy now? Probably the chat available. wants you to take uh, take the the Packers receiver at the top of the, the top of the underdog queue. Christian Watson, uh, Lazard. Oh, I missed my pick. God damn it! Oh no, uh, Derek Carr. That's fine. He was in my queue. Oh no! Probably overdrafted him, but oh uh, no! Now I get this high powered Raiders offense. Oh. We got to get our shit going mentally. <laughs> Ooh, Rondell Moore. I love that pick. He's fun, although his average depth of target. Oh, I know the established go. Run, the run guys <laughs> always hammer like he is. His his average depth of target was like comical. It was like one yard. Ryan, you know my new nickname, Sean Athletic Greens, and I think I, I think I sold my dad on them as well. He was very <laughs> interested in the in the concept of adaptogens, probiotics, whole food source superfoods, minerals, vitamins. Brought home a travel pack told him like hey you could be tom athletic grains he liked the <laughs> ring of that and again uh these things i've been traveling a ton they immediately you're you wake up in some foreign land you throw one of these in the shaker immediately feel better better sleep quality recovery athletic grains is over seven thousand five star reviews to make it easy athletic grains is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune supporting Vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you got to do is go to athleticgreens.com slash SGP. That's athleticgreens.com slash SGP to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Indiana Jones saying he is stacking Gronk with Brady. Oh, and uh, Andrew Robb saying, pointing out I should have taken Lazard. I try to tell you in real time. Tanner drafted him and said, yeah, eh. what are you going to do? Melvin Gordon goes, Zach Ertz, Pat Fryermuth. I need a running quarterback, at least one of these guys. Or do I roll the dice with uh, Deshaun Watson? <laughs> I really don't like this Cleveland team, though. Yeah, don't. I, I mean, like you already took really Hunt. You, you talk shit on him, and then you took Hunt. Uh, Curry Ooh. Hunt's different. Boyd, I was looking hard at Boyd right now. Pair him with Higgins. Chase goes down. I got two two of the, and the receivers on Cincinnati. Flapjack did uh, drafted Jacoby Myers in the tenth round, right after me. <laughs> I feel like his picks can only be so bad at this point. I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's a professional, Ryan. Oh, Robert Woods. Fuck. So. He is a he's a fun upset case for sure, right? No AJ Brown, Traylon Burks can't get out on the field. Like who who are they? Who's fucking Tannehill gonna throw the ball? All right, I'm back up. Let's start firing. Uh, I you know let me let me let me just check something. Double check some numbers. Tabulating. Oh, you drafted Kadarius Tony. Yeah, of course I did. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> There's just too much upside in that Kansas City offense. Yeah. What if he's the number two? Miko Hardman goes to Ryan Kramer to kick off the 11th round. Oh, man. This team is all over the place. 
I will say the the receivers I took early have really allowed me to not worry about uh, taking a quarterback and still having plenty of stack options. I have multiple stack options. This is great. Just delicious. Why not Van Jefferson this year, Ryan? Why not? Uh, it's, that ship is sold. They, they, they want to be an AAU team. A guy like that, drafted, hardworking, they, they don't have room for that anymore. Uh, Justin Fields goes, who I was considering. Uh, Kirk Cousins. Although I feel like, who do you stack with Fields, you know? Uh, Mo- Mooney. Team. Mooney's pretty cheap. I mean, you got to worry. You got to be worried about Fields. They they did not really in- improve the situation around him. <laughs> uh, just feel bad for the kid. Though. Feel uh, bad for the kid. He's just going to run all over the place around. Just feel bad for the kid. This guy's going to make plays. Oh, I... I don't know if I told you, but uh, my my buddy, who is an Eagles fan, but vehemently hates Jalen Hurts, and is a massive uh, Danny Dimes fan. Well, how, how's that work? <laughs> you guys accept that kind of behavior? Hates Jalen Hurts, thinks he's the worst quarterback in the league. Loves Daniel Jones, keeps making excuses <laughs> for him. Finally, I was like, all right, dude, put your money where your mouth is. So we bet thousand bucks. Ooh. Who will have the higher QBR? Oh. Daniel Jones or Jalen Hurts? I got that in even money, Ryan. Is that here? He's a sucker. Yeah. <laughs> it's QBR. It's Jalen Hurts' rushing stats. I mean, come I don't on. think he realizes that rushing stats factor into QBR <laughs> oh. and turnovers. You would do this to a family member? Everyone's got to watch their back in the SGPN organization. Oh, no. He's not in the organization. Chase uh, Edmonds goes. <laughs> Mike Gusecki goes with Shad Penny, Tua off the board. So you're, so you're like Vin Diesel. Your your not real family is more important than your actual family. I race for pinks, much like uh, Vin Diesel. <laughs> I play for keeps. I mean, he kept. He just would not shut up about how much better uh, <laughs> Jalen Hurts is over. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate. Or, sorry, the the Daniel Jones is. All right, uh, Alexander Madison goes. Jameis Winston goes. Who is? Definitely someone I was keeping an eye on for a late stack there. Flapjack is on the clock right in front of me. What's he doing this time? He's got he's is he doing is he doing something wild and crazy? <laughs> Seven, six, five. How you can tell when they they get auto drafted? Or just if time expires. Nah, that's auto drafted. Okay. It's gonna be a good pick. Kenny Holiday. Oh, Fuck. Wow. I, I wanted to take him. How dare you? All right. I'm going to get some uh, late round stud running backs, or at least chance here. Khalil Herbert and Isaiah Spiller. Both guys have massive upsides. Um, I mean, one, David Montgomery. Who knows how long he's going to hang on to that starting <laughs> job. And Eckler is always banged up. So the yeah. 11th and 12th round, I'm in. So are you done with running backs? Yeah, I got five. Now I just got a, I got four receivers. I'm literally just going to draft four receivers and one or two quarterbacks. I love how people are getting themselves back in on Ronald Jones. That's cute. Also, what do we think about Michael Carter? I mean, I know they drafted Brees Hall, but he was pretty good last year. Still out there. Yeah, you could do way worse, I think. Damian Pierce goes, Robert Tunyon goes, Matt Ryan goes. What do I do here, Sean? Ronald Jones. Could use, I probably could use one more running back. Deshaun Watson's off the board. Definitely. Yeah, you got, you have four running backs, seven receivers. Are you just, you're, you're giving up on tight ends? Uh, tight ends are a devalued position. I don't know if you know that in fantasy. So I figured I was going to wait. You know, there's there's still some option outs, uh, options out there. I don't mind. I can I can kind of spray fire a couple here. Okay. I I think some people are maybe maybe not reading the news, not not realizing what's going on in the league. So Jamison uh, cre- Crowder goes. He's an interesting. Oh, great pick. Absolutely great pick. Professional wide receiver now in that offense. 
And no, uh, who does, is Emmanuel Sanders still there? What's it? What's up with him? Uh, yeah, he's Manny. I believe Manny Sanders is still there, but I mean, cool. This is the this is the Cole Beasley position, and I think it, Jamison Crowder has the ability to be at least what Cole Beasley has, if not more. And now we're in what the twelfth round. Is Cole Great just pick. pursuing his uh, rap career. Yeah, I think he's going full music. <laughs> All, you know, more, more more power to him. Hope hope he uh, crushes it. Two two picks until me. Algier, the uh, Falcons running back. That's an interesting one. Isaiah McKenzie, he could be fun too. But but to your point, I think Jamison Crowder, a little bit better there. Cole Komet, he's another guy you could put with the Justin Fields stack. You could get him super late. Kramer, you're on the clock. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, doctor. How much time do I have? Not prepared. Hold on. Ten. Ten nine. Oh, you can hear the vibrating. Sorry about that. All right, uh, Daniel Jones. Come on. Obviously got to grab my stack. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, there's no reason to just step out of line. I was just talking about him. I'm going to grab Michael Carter. I mean, again, sometimes when you get this the new blood, it's not like, do you really think they're going to stop using Michael Carter? He was useful in the passing game. Um so yeah, we'll see. He'll it makes me wonder if I should go sixth running back here, Sean. Mm. Um, there are still some nice running back bull bullets out there, I think. But I, I like the I like having the dudes who already have a role. So um, yeah, I mean, you know, like the JD McKissick role, like that's that's Michael Carter off the get go. I think I don't think Brees Hall I mean, comes again, in. I, everyone thinks I'm a homer, but Kenny Gainwell is interesting. <laughs> JD McKissick, to your point, yeah. Again, everyone thinks I'm a homer. That guy's review Dearness really is Johnson. in your head, man. I'm jacking the Eagles. Fuck off. Uh, hey, if you want to get some uh, free gear, giving away free gear every <laughs> Monday, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Merch Monday. If you leave a dog shit review like that other guy, you will not be winning Merch Monday no. if I had to guess. Uh, Naheem Hines goes. Tolbert on the Cowboys goes. Albert O, tight end for the Broncos. He's off the board. Very interesting team I'm putting together here. Andrew Robb is loving a lot of my picks. Just going to throw that out there. <laughs> he is throwing out a lot of explanations. Michael Carter, this late is great. Well, congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Devontae Parker. He's interesting in New England. See Mac Jones, best shape of his life. Oh, oh man, I will. Baby fucking wheel, man. I will forever love Devonte Parker and dudes in the best shape of their life <laughs> in this time of year. Doesn't get any better. Jarvis Landry goes. That's interesting. If you're putting together like a Jameis stack, you get Landry, you get Michael Thomas, you get Jameis. Like again, you could really lock up that offense. Van Jefferson goes. I know Ryan, you're out on him. Out. Sorry, I'm just loading up the queue with some serious bullets right now. James Robinson, Irv Smith. One more guy than Flapjack than me. I don't have a single tight end right now. Oh, my God. Who does Flapjack go with? I mean, it seems like he's on full auto draft. Could he take another quarterback? No. I, the algorithm won't let him. David Bell goes for the Browns. I like that, yeah, but he's a Brown. Bad. But he's a Brown. All right. Flapjack is on the clock. Oh, and he let it go down to zero once again. Oh, you know, Henderson for the uh, the Rams. Full yeah. auto draft McGillicuddy. I'm going to do a nice little uh, late stack here. Zach Wilson, pair him with Corey Davis. Dog. Corey Davis, still a dog, Ryan. Confirm? Confirmed dog. Looks good coming off the bus. He's in the same Devontae Parker camp of dudes I'll love forever. Yeah. All right. Uh, closing out here. Although, no, we got like uh, four rounds left. I was Remember, thinking I about that. Off round 14. Yeah, so I have five picks. I need 
at least two tight ends, a quarter, maybe three tight ends. I don't know. I mean, at this point, I have four picks left. I need, I definitely need one more quarterback and then just receiver bullets. All right. I have uh one, one quarterback, five running backs, seven receivers, no tight ends. And, uh, appreciate Andrew Robb talking about uh, Davis Price. I was going to grab him and have two of the three San Francisco running backs, but uh, some Alf Gators snagged him. Flapjack went with DJ Chark. Again, totally reasonable picks now. It Trevor sucks. Lawrence goes in the 14th round. Yeah, the case for him is pretty, pretty clear, right? I mean, you could easily put him above uh, Zach Wilson, who I just drafted. In that new look, Doug P offense. All right. You're hanging out down by the beach. Someone's uh, <laughs> Airbnb. You're accessing their Wi-Fi. Who knows what could be what could be on there? Maybe some some spying going on of your communications, your browsing history. Who knows what kind of internet you're connected to? Your passwords could be uh, confiscated, stolen, your identity theft. I mean, there's so much stuff going on, on the internet. You got to keep it safe, secure, nice VPN, like IP vanish. You can uh, hide your browsing location, your browsing history. Uh, you can put it on multiple devices. Won't slow you down and you get 70% off. All you got to do is go to IP vanish.com slash S G P that's IP vanish.com slash S G P. Joku goes, Hunter Henry, Gus Edwards. Oof, not a lot out there, Sean. Not a lot out there. Tyler Higby goes. Ryan, have you drafted a quarterback? Uh yes, Danny Dimes. No, I I was saying have sorry, you drafted Dan, Daniel a quarterback? Jones. Daniel Jones, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, right. I'm I'm good on quarterback. KJ Osborne goes. Ryan really hates quarterbacks. You're like Colby. <laughs> you think they're ruining the game. But dime a dozen. Who just went? Davis Mills. Holy shit. <laughs> I might might need to take a quarterback. Robbie Anderson, Ryan, is this his year? Uh no. Unfortunately. We're we're big Robbie Anderson fans here. Yeah. But this isn't uh this isn't his year. Jared Goff well, I, available. I mean, I, I would definitely take a shot on uh, Jared Goff over. Uh, I don't know. Over Davis Mills. George Pickens goes, who was in my queue. He's interesting. They know what to do with those guys. All right, let's just let's just keep this rolling. Dupe. Full on fan. Oh man. Ryan, uh, don't say it. Pete don't say it. Uh, <laughs> no way you draft yeah. your lock. You don't no have way. Pulse. I don't have the pulse. Uh, let's see. You know what? We're going to need another tight end. And I think people may have forgotten that I think he's starting for Cincinnati. Hayden Hurst. So, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to load up on some Cincinnati shares in the way of Higgins and Hayden Hurst here. Logan Thomas is interesting too. I don't know how many weeks he's going to miss, but it does sound like he's not going to play a full season. Andrew Robb checking in, asking if I'm going to stack Ritter with the Falcons guy. Do I take Ritter or Mariota? No. Mariota. Mariota, right? I, I don't know. Maybe we're uh, we're in the wrong wrong side of this uh, history here, but I'm I'm going Mariota all the way. Yeah, I, I, I think Desmond Ritter. I don't think the plan for Riz, Ritter. Is to start right away. People don't realize how much we have to listen to Colby talk about the lawn chair that is Desmond Ritter. <laughs> Which is ironic because he was the one, you know, <laughs> angling for a, a non power five team to get in the playoff. They finally do, they get their ass kicked, and then he's completely out on them. <laughs> All right. How many how many rounds do we have left, Sean? Uh, Kenny, I have Kenny Gainwell goes, uh John Mechie goes. I don't love that pick. It sounds like he's gonna miss some time too. Yeah, there's better receiver bullets, I think, at this point. I mean, is Nico Collins available? Uh, yeah. I would hope not. If you if this was the guy that took, uh, oh, Nico Chris Collins Hall. is available. I would have, I would have preferred taking Nico Collins over Mechie. Yeah, 
That's just me. Keep it 100. We're Texans guys, though. Josh Palmer goes. Uh, Pierce for the Colts receiver. I like that pick. That he's an int- he's kind of a wild card there. Yeah, and in a dome, you never know. Some guys might pop. I need Andrew to tell me if five running backs is enough. Andrew Rob saying, I think Ritter will overtake Mariota by week 10. Well. Oh, get out of here. Bullshit if, projection. If that's the case, then I still want Mariota, right? Because I get. No, I, I get Mariota's, not, Mariota's playing the full season. You guys are off. Everyone's, the world is off on this Falcons team. I don't know why I'm planting a flag with the fucking Atlanta Falcons, but I am. saw someone that would be pretty fun yeah i mean if you like the upside on the jags you could really get a ton of their guys super late yeah the trevor lawrence stack is very available wendell robinson goes to uh no alf alfred gator fuck right. you guys couldn't, man couldn't stack him man i couldn't i was planning on it times wendell robinson stack i was planning on it well, what you guys don't know is you—you you guys haven't—you uh you don't know about enough about the uh, our gal Bellinger. Watch out! Total tight end action for Daniel Jones. Flapjack takes Will Fuller. All right, yeah, I'm obviously gonna go Marcus Mariota and uh, roll the dice with the Lavisca Chanel. He had oh, yeah. three catches last year. Right? I, I like Chanel. I, I have a feeling they're gonna figure him out, figure out how to make him useful. Although. Yeah, I guess you don't need a tight end, two premium tight ends. Evan Ingram is interesting on a team that uses him correctly. Andrew, I need a receiver bullets. Feel free to toss him in here. <laughs> Julio? Uh, I don't like taking old guy bullets for the most part. I mean, I like Julio. No doubt oh, about Mar- it. Julio's a dog. Marvin Jones is still out there. That's crazy. Professional. No, he was. I was going back between him and uh, LaVisca. My receivers are so stacked. Hurts. Can't can't go back that that route. Do need more quarterbacks though. Ryan, have the neighbors uh, told you to keep it down over there? Uh, not to- yet. I I do see someone outside with a pen and paper and a notebook. So. Just learning a little, little something day by day. It'd be great if they knocked on the door. What are you doing? Drafted Daniel Jones. You need a real quarterback. Uh, all right. What else? We, who has just been drafted here? Jamal Williams. Oh, no. Odell Beckham. You want to talk about uh, bullets? JD McKissick. Wow. He's still available. Mac Jones goes. Oh, yeah. All right. Hmm. There he goes. Marvin Jones finally off the board. Shout out to him. Disrespectful. Curtis Samuel's available. It's useful information, Sean. Oh, it is. Apparently. I, I kind of feel like he's he's not doing anything. He, he's done. We've seen it all. <laughs> Andrew is a Washington Commandos uh, fan, so oh. keep that in mind. Rest in peace. Sam Howell, available. All right. What else? Uh, after Mac Jones, Marvin Jones, like you said, Donovan Peoples-Jones. Three Jones in a row. And then Jared Goff. Jared Goff, I mean, I know I hate him, but <laughs> he could do worse, I guess. I don't know. I know I hate him. Then you're forced to root for Jared Goff. So just remember that when you're drafting Jared Goff. Although that's what's great about the best ball thing. I feel like I don't check in until like week seven. Yeah, there's no oh, real yeah. rush. Remember all those teams I drafted? I wonder how they're doing. So there's a couple that are doing awesome and then some that are just horrific. Let me know when I'm on the clock. I'm doing a deep dive on uh, on something right now. <laughs> all right. Keep an eye, Ryan. You are almost on the clock. Ingram just went. 
after golf, you'll be picking in three seconds. Is it two more picks? Nope. You're on the clock. But we have we have two more picks, right? You like have eighteen rounds. Yep. You have Oh no, we three have three more, more picks. picks. You have three more. All right, more so picks. we're definitely gonna We're gonna do that. Drew Lock. Stack secured. And we're gonna make sure I'm the only team that also has Dwayne Eskridge to go with. <laughs> Noah Fant, Tyler Lockett, and DK Metcalf Sean. There will not be many teams with this Seattle stack here. No, so you're just hoping Kenneth Walker gets hurt. Um, Pete Carroll's a stroke, misses the entire season, and they throw the ball. I can see it. Yeah. Drew Locke, fuck you season. <laughs> Ryan, you're, you're putting together quite a QB room between Daniel Jones and Drew Locke. Like, who's, who's the alpha in that room? Do I need another quarterback? No, you got two premium QBs. I was kind of thinking that myself. Curtis Samuel goes, you have two guys who won't be starting after week eight. Oh, Sean. Who's going to be starting for Seattle? Gino? No, Gino. Yeah. Gino or Baker. I don't know why Ross is getting all this buzz. Former five star. Like he had, he didn't produce. I, like this is like the classic, like the chiefs are going to somehow turn him into gold. Seems like an odd pick in a best ball. Like he's not going to see the field. Haskins running back for Tennessee. Can he pick it goes? I don't know about that. Nico Collins still available. I see that every time. It's like, why are we disrespecting this guy? Logan is two tight is two tight ends enough, or do I need a third tight end? What are your tight ends? Not, uh, let's see. I got Hayden Hurst and Noah Fan. Oh yeah, you're good, dude. <laughs> you got that position locked up. All right, that's what I thought. Evan Ingram goes. Kendrick Bourne goes. The Patriots. Can you play? Uh, I forget. Can the tight end score you points in the slot or no? I think so. only when it's only when it's not Taysom Hill. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that the only controversy was Taysom Hill and the the fantasy purists who felt like it wasn't fair that his position was tight end. Pussies. All right, so how are you going to close your team out here, Sean? Flapjack is on the clock for one more thrill yeah, just ride. Two, two uh two receiver bullets. Cole three. Beasley has has not been signed yet. He yeah. I mean, to a sorry. Label or to an NFL team? <laughs> Now there's the joke. I was getting to it. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to step on the road. No, no, that, that's it. He's uh, he, unfortunately it's an NFL team. Indiana Jones saying uh, he bets Ross sees the field run. Brian Robinson Jr. goes running back for the Commandos. All right, uh, Nico Collins. I mean, this guy's a legit receiver and seemed to have some chemistry with Davis Mills. And then I will. Uh, Oh, what else am I going to do here? Give me uh, Romeo Dubs, rookie uh, for the Packers. Maybe maybe this is the rookie receiver that actually works out with Aaron Rodgers. So my team's done. I have Derek Carr, Zach Wilson, Marcus Mariota. Don't like it. Aaron Jones, Kareem Hunt, <laughs> Devin Singletary, Khalil Herbert, and Isaiah Spiller. Devontae Adams, Drake London, Devonta Smith, Chase Claypool, Corey Davis, LaVisca Chenault, Nico Collins, Romeo Dubs, and then tight end Kyle Pitts and Darren Waller. So I have two dome quarterbacks and a bunch of their pass catchers. So it could be, it could be interesting. This is either, I'm either going to win a million dollars or be in last place. There's no middle ground with this team. Taysom Hill, Ryan, speak of the devil. He just got drafted. (laughs) I like how win a million dollars is in the range of possible outcomes for this team. Yeah. Highest scoring team wins a million dollars in the regular season. Yeah. I like that rule. Um, Andrew Rob said, nice pick. I don't know if he's talking oh. about Romeo dubs or Nico Collins. Either way. I'm going to, I'm going to take credit for both there. Closing it out. Julio. 
I don't know who is a fun 18th round pick. James Washington, uh, Quez Watkins. It's fun. It's big playability. Ryan, you're going to draft Mr. Irrelevant. How many guys do you have in your queue right now? Two. Three. One of them is Baker Mayfield. How many teams are going to have Baker, DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, the whole squad? <laughs> I feel like I need, I should go with another tight end. No, dude, you got two. <laughs> Wyandale Robinson for you, Kramer. No, I think he already he already got picked. Yeah, he got taken a while ago. Piron uh, Carson Wentz off the board. Oh, Carson I was Wentz. low key. I was looking at Carson Wentz <laughs> to stack with Terry McLaurin. Uh, all right. I don't need an extra quarterback. Oh, I could stack Sterling Shepard with Danny Dimes. Get that double stack. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I know exactly what I'm going to do. He's a guy who has, and I can start saying this before uh, Stucker even makes his pick, but or B. Tucker. He's a guy who, uh, he won us some money, Sean. We will forever be in debt to this man. Uh, and we learned how to say his last name last year as well. CJ Uzoma. Oh, yeah. Starting tight end for the New York Jets going off in the 18th round. So once again, sharp action, just at Kramer centric on Twitter, on Instagram, wherever you want to follow me. All right. Read off your team, Kramer. It looks like uh, I'm sure I won the projection. Uh, Daniel Jones, Drew Locke, my quarterback room. Jonathan Taylor, Elijah Mitchell, Josh Jacobs, Tony Pollard, Michael Carter, my running back room, Tyree Kill, T. Higgins, Terry McLaurin, D.K. Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Kadarius Tony, Miko Hardman, Dwayne Eskridge, my wide receiver room, and Noah Fant, Hayden Hurst, and C.J. Uzoma, my tight ends. I, I, you know what, Sean? This is a million-dollar team or nothing. We're going to need that stroke up there in Seattle, though. <laughs> Derek Carr, Zach Wilson, Marcus Mariota, Aaron Jones, Kareem Hunt, Devin Singletary, Khalil Herbert, Isaiah Spiller, Devontae Adams, Drake London, Devonta Smith, Chase Claypool, Corey Davis, LaVisca Chenault, Nico Collins, Romeo Dubs. I mean, uh, the interesting thing with my receivers is, like, they all could be, I don't know, like, there's a case that each one of these could be pretty good. Also, like, high ceiling, high floor, I feel like, for all these guys. I mean, with the exception of Devonte, but even him, it could like not go as planned. Uh, tight ends: Kyle Pitts and Darren Waller. So lock it up. Let's go. Well, excellent work, Sean. It's my most unique team. I'm looking comparing to my other teams. I like it. I got a bunch of shares of a couple different guys. This is fun. We're cranking out the best balls. Hey, UnderdogFantasy.com promo code SGPN. Get in there, and you're good to go. All right, we got a uh, bunch of fun pods coming up this week. Of course, go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Merch Monday, all one word, M-E-R-C-H Monday. Leave your rating and review there. It's very easy. You just take a screenshot of you submitting your review, submit it, and then you have a chance to win free gear every Monday. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the notifications when we go live. We'll try to get you in the drafts and uh, draft against us. Kramer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Yes, sir. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Uh, great draft, Sean. Great draft. Kramer, let it ride.